Hello, my students. How are you? I hope you are doing well. In this lesson, we will consider the differences between travelers and tourists. Read for specific information. Look at your workbook page 30, activity 1. In groups, discuss the following questions. What are the differences between the following types of people? A. Traveler B. Explorer C. Visitor D. Tourist How true is this statement? Tourists are always travelers, but travelers are not always tourists. Now, you have five minutes. Stop this video and do this task. Traveler Someone on a journey Explorer Someone who travels through an unknown area in order to find out more about it. For example, Marco Polo Visitor Someone who comes to visit a place or person. Tourist. Someone who visits a place on holiday or for pleasure. Number two. How true is this statement? Tourists are always travelers, but travelers are not always tourists. It is true that tourists are always travelers. However, travelers are not always tourists. Travelers may visit places not just for pleasure, but to explore or to do business. Look at your workbook page 30, activity 2. This activity focuses on some differences between travelers and tourists. Read the statements from A to J below. They come from two different paragraphs in the same article. Paragraph one is about travelers. Paragraph two is about tourists. Decide which statements belong in paragraph one and which belong in paragraph two. Now, stop this video. You have five minutes to do this task. Have you finished? Okay, check your answers. Sentences which belong to paragraph one about travelers. A, F, G, H, and G. Sentences which belong to paragraph 2 about tourists. B, C, D, E, and I. Look at your workbook page 31, activity 3. Read the postcard below. Do you think it was written by a tourist or a traveler? Give your reasons. Now, stop this video. You have three minutes to read this postcard and decide if it is for a tourist or a traveler and why. Have you finished? Okay, check your answers. The writer of the postcard is a tourist because she is not the type of person who wants to be adventurous or independent. She is staying in a hotel. She doesn't like the local food. She wants food to be similar to food back home. Look at your workbook page 31, activity 4. Read the following two paragraphs. Think of a suitable title for the text and write it on the lines at the top. Then answer questions 
one, two, three below. Now, stop this video. You have five minutes to do this task. Have you finished? Okay, check your answers. A suitable title for this text is The British on Holiday. Question number one. When did ordinary people in Britain start going on holiday? By the beginning of the 1990s. Two. Check the meanings of the following words and write brief explanations. Number A, accommodation. Places to stay. B, package holidays. Organized holidays that include travel and a hotel. C. Destination. Place you are traveling to. D. Affordable. Able to be bid for. Question number three. Why are British people now able to afford holidays in places like the U.S.? Because air travel is becoming cheaper. With my best wishes, I am Adil Gabriel Mikhail. Goodbye and good luck.